this man was. If you're outside the UK, he was a prominent politician. He sadly passed away today. Um, basically, he was the leader of Britain's third party from 1999 to 2006, the Liberal Democrat Party. Um, I was uh, I was saddened and shocked by the news to some extent, but I did know that Mr. Kennedy had been struggling with um, with alcoholism for some time. He was only 55, which uh, is is too young to die. Um, but he'd served his constituents for 32 years, uh, the constituency of Ross, Sky, and Lochaber in Scotland. Um, Mr. Kennedy had become an MP in 1983 at the age of just 23, and he at that time was the baby of the house, which is an expression we have for the youngest member of parliament in a given year. Um, and he went on to have a, a highly prominent uh, career as a parliamentarian. Um, he became leader of the Liberal Democrat Party, succeeding Paddy Ashdown in 1999, and he was leader for about seven years. He was leader during the period of the Iraq War, and um, he's well remembered for his steadfast opposition to that. Um, and at that time, his leadership of the Liberal Democrats got a lot of uh, support from students. Uh, I mean, the party always did have a large youth contingent, but especially under the leadership of Mr. Kennedy. Um, for me, this is somewhat personal because it was at the time that I was at university. Um, in the early 2000s that he was leader and um, I, I joined the party under his leadership and I campaigned whilst he was leader. So I do find this sad news. Um, I mean, the speculation is that he's passed away from the alcoholism and there was criticism recently of the BBC that he went on to question time despite clearly looking strained. And he lost a seat in this election as did a lot of his very worthy colleagues, and I think that that probably would have exacerbated the personal pressure on his life. But, you know, I, I always find it's a case that when politicians pass away, people always saw he was a man of conviction. Uh, but I think in the case of Charles Kennedy, he really, really was. When he spoke, he always, um, he always came across as intelligent. He always came across as principled in the way he would bring about arguments. Um, you never ever got the impression of Kennedy that he was excessively a PR man, that he was really thinking about image. Uh, I mean, he did have a reputation before um, he became leader of the Liberal Democrats for appearing on uh, game shows and so on. And he was something of a character in the House of Commons. He was quite a colourful figure. So this is a sad day. And I think uh, politicians from across the board will... Um, will miss Charles Kennedy. I also think, not just politicians, I think a lot of people in the United Kingdom will miss this man. He he was a leader for seven years. He he had some very strong principles and whether or not you agree with him, and I, I know this is something that is said whenever a prominent politician passes, but um, clearly this was a man who cared about the people he represented. Um, and I, I do think it's sad news. 55 is way too young to die. But Charles Kennedy isn't going to be forgotten. I mean, uh, under his leadership, the Liberal Democrats um, done very well in the polls. Obviously, they suffered very badly in this election. This has been an abysmal year for this party, not just electorally speaking, but now with the passing of one of their greatest parliamentarians. Um, I say late because I'm no member, longer a member of the party, but... I did vote for them in the general election, and um, this is a very sad day for British politics. Um, I would describe this as the Liberal Democrats' John Smith moment, because um, if, you, if you're old enough in the UK, you'll know John Smith was a very popular Labour leader who died on timely in 1994 from a heart attack. He'd only been leader for two years, but he had inspired a lot of people. Um, likewise, Charles Kennedy, during his leadership of the Liberal Democrats, inspired a lot of people. Um, he didn't win the election outright, but he, um, I mean, he, he never served as prime minister, but he did manage to change the share of his party. And um, it's it's a sad situation. Uh, Charles Kennedy was a veteran also of uh, debate programs like Question Time. I believe he 
won a young debaters competition when he was a student and so he was he was a principled man he was also a tough man in the sense that he he stood by his principles and he, he didn't shy away from speaking out for the things that he believed in so my thoughts today go out to his family and um you know i i don't necessarily agree with all the positions he had but i respect him and i think that most decent people uh reflecting i mean today i've seen comments not just from politicians but from people i know are not liberal democrat supporters saying that it is a sad uh, sad situation and i would like to think that um i would have the same attitude for someone prominent in any party who i think credit needs to be given where it's due so um i'll leave it there but it's a sad day for british politics and um charles kennedy will not be forgotten